Welcome to another segment with David and myself. We're going to show you something wonderful, something good, something that's going to help your scalp. A lot of you women and men are contacting me saying, Tone, what do you got for hair? What do you got for hair? And I never even don't think about hair, but because <clears throat> it's there. If it's there or it's not. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little formula that will help even with the graying of the hair, will darken the hair, will initiate hair growth. Okay. Now, Having said this, this is not going to work for everybody. Okay, there are other mitigating factors that are there that can affect you, hormonal factors, like you're producing too much DHC or pollutant factors or dietary factors are also going to play a role in this. But for a topical, what you're going to need is black coffee, rosemary essential oil, and copper, a little copper, and I use a Castile soap. That's what I used to use to wash my hair. It's a, it's a, it's a, there's nothing in it other than Castile. Um, this one's unscented and you can buy this at any health food store. Uh, you can use a normal shampoo if you got a shampoo that isn't too abrasive. But what you're going to do, there's your shampoo. You're going to get about 10 or 20 drops of rosemary. And just to clarify, you did say colloidal copper. Yeah. Because you say that kind of quick. Even I had a hard time catching it, even though I knew what it was. Okay, yeah, colloidal copper. See, Dave is on the ball there. There you go. See, he hasn't missed a beat. Okay, we're going to add a little coffee to it, probably about an ounce or two. It's up to you how, how much you want to put in there. What coffee does, and rosemary does, is the rosemary and the coffee both stimulate the hair follicles to grow. But what the interesting about coffee is, coffee causes the root, the very bottom of the hair, to extend out several different hairs at one time. So it stimulates the hair growth in that way. A lot of these Rogaine products and all these other products, this is one of them key ingredients in it is coffee. Now I'm just going to guesstimate here. Okay, there's my coffee. Oops. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. This is the one. Aha. Uh -huh. And then finally, copper. Now why are we putting copper in there? Because copper blocks the peroxyls that causes the gray hair. Okay, so when the peroxides are minimized, your hair color stays normal. Okay, it's the pro it's the peroxide in the in your body your body's producing because again you're exposed to so much nano pollution today and nanotoxicity. Not to mention the smart meters and everything else. You're oxidizing. So again, about an ounce or two, throw it in there, and then you know seal it up. It's precision science. Precision science. Did you see again. that rocket science? We're yeah. building a rocket ship to the moon here. And then give her a shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it. See, and that's, you know, give it a good mix, and there you go. Done. You know, simple, easy. And then when you wash your hair, apply apply just like you would normal shampoo and see what happens. Now, to also inspire hair growth, I would encourage you to use things like gelatin and MSM. Because MSM and gelatin both help in stimulating the hair to grow as well. MSM produces the, helps uh, produce the keratin for the hair. So you got a lot of different things you can do. And if you want to experiment by adding uh, even MSM in here, you can dissolve it first in some water and then put it in. You can do that as well. I mean, the, the sky's the limit on these formulations that you can put on this stuff. So, But this is a simple, cheap, easy, inexpensive formula. You make your own copper. You make your own coffee. The biggest, biggest expense you're going to have is the soap and the rosemary, you know. How, how, how cheap and easy is that? So you don't go to the health food store and you go into the cosmetic section and you're spending $5,000 million for stuff that you can make at home for within five minutes. Isn't that simple? Isn't that cheap? Isn't that easy? The um, application, I know you said put it on like shampoo. <clears throat> Should they, would they have any effects if they uh, put it in and maybe left it for a couple minutes? Oh, yeah. So to let it soak in or anything like that? Yeah, you could do it that way, you know, what, however, you know, just a simple little wash, I find, you know, it helps with the hair and whatnot, thickening of the hair. I mean, you can let it sit and soak if you want. Uh, you may find that between, with the, well, with all three actually, they're actually nootropics in, this, in their own way. They help stimulate brain activity, so you might find yourself more awake and more alert. That's a, that's a possibility too. Rosemary is known for that, so is copper, and coffee is basically a stimulant. So you can, yeah, you can go either way. Put it on, leave it on, rinse it off right away, however way you want to do it. Give it a go. See what see what transpires. You know, like I said, ain't gonna work for everybody. 
You know, it uh, again, there's a lot of other mitigating factors that are involved there. If you're, you're producing too much testosterone, and for you women, if you're eating a lot of olive oil and you're having hair fall out, leave it alone. The olive oil will stimulate testosterone production, which can cause, D, it's, which is DHT, which causes hair fall out. So start using like a more omega 6s like almond oil, um, sunflower oil coconut oil, uh, MCT oils, butter butter or ghee. These things might be an alternative to the olive oil. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, if you take olive oil, you, again, it has a testosterone boosting effect. So sometimes when your T levels are up, dun, da, da, you know, then what happens is the hair starts to fall out as a result of too much DHT. Alrighty. Again, something simple, something easy, something cheap, something effective. So to the next segment from Dave and myself to your house.